So a guitar and bass player friend of mine named Eddie once told me something very important. So he briefly auditioned for my band Paradigm, which most of you will probably be fairly familiar with by now, but if not, that's my band and that's what they're called. And he told me something very, very important, and that is it's not about if you screw up live, because you will. It's about screwing up together. And I didn't quite know what he meant initially, but basically he said that people aren't as likely to notice if you all know what you're doing. And if you're tight as a band and you all know what each other's going to do and how you play, then people are going to more likely question themselves as to whether or not they think you screwed up. Because if you play it off well enough, they might second guess themselves and they might think, hang on, was that a mistake or am I wrong? Basically, the whole point is if you all screw up together, no one will know. So I'm going to show you guys some examples of that because it's been very important. And it's a very important thing to know if you want to be in a band. So the first one actually features Eddie, the man himself that gave me this advice. And uh, he is my senior by quite a few years. And we are in a, another band together uh, alongside Paradigm. We all hang out sometimes, like both bands together. Like we're all mates, we're all friends. We're all part of the local scene. Yeah, so in the second band, we were running through Highway Star by Deep Purple. And just after the screen finishes in the intro, Matt the drummer usually goes straight into the song rather than waiting the allotted time in bars as in the original. Basically what will happen is I'll do the scream and then as soon as the scream is over, he'll do the and then the guitars will come in. I just got a message on WhatsApp. However, in this occasion, Matt and I were the only ones who remembered it. And as you can see from how I move, I expected the guitars to come in as soon as the scream finished, but they didn't. They went with the original time in bars as the original song. So the example that I'm showing you guys of screwing up together is the fact that when they did that, Matt went with it as well. He, he waited the time because he could tell they weren't going to do what we usually do, and I didn't. But I managed to pull us out of this proverbial nosedive by not singing. I read the room and I knew that we hadn't done what we usually do, so I didn't sing. And I waited until the guitars came in with their cue, which is da da, and then I start singing, nobody gonna take my car. So have a little look and you guys will see what I mean. So as I say, this is this is a really, really important example because it shows that if you want to know what you're going to do as a band and what you usually do, if you screw up, but you all screw up together and you're all in tune with each other, no pun intended, you'll be able to pull out of, like I said, the proverbial nosedive. Because I was reading the room and I didn't expect them to be perfect, we were able to carry on with a barely noticeable mistake. Only the most eagle-eyed people would have gone, hey, that's not quite right. What do you think you're doing, you piece of shit? Annoyingly, the second example got corrupted on my camera, so I'm gonna have to do it again. No need to adjust your screen, it's just later in the day now. We're gonna time travel back to earlier on in a second for the third example, but until then, the second one is from my most recent performance with Paradigm. Uh, basically, we played Domination by Pantera, and in this situation, Maddie's drumstick broke in half just before a critical fill in the song. I am so chuffed with how well she handled this, because it, it was a very, very difficult situation, and it was caught on camera, which is just the most fantastic thing about the whole thing. This particular instance threw everyone off by about a bar and a half, but the other thing that was important and resulted in less of a screw-up was the fact that the guitars played by Zach and Aaron adjusted to the mistake. They carried on playing, realised there was something wrong, waited for Maddie to come back in, and then carried on with the song, which was fantastic on their part. I won't act like Maddie was the only person that did something really good in this situation, but she had the hardest job to get out of this nosedive. So now Maddie is playing with only half a bloody drumstick, and it wasn't until after I sang my last vocal line, if you guys know Domination by Pantera by the way, you'll understand this whole situation when you see the video. After I sing the very last vocal line in the song, I looked at Maddie, saw what had happened, and then realised there was a spare drumstick sat behind her on the stage, so I decided to amble over and get it for her. When I did, I sort of held it in front of her, and she waited for a moment where she'd be able to take it. And in the same breath, she chucked the old drumstick away and took the fresh one off me, barely missing a beat the entire time. She had the worst possible thing happen to her that can happen while you're drumming, and she managed to correct it. Here's the example. Woo. 
or inspiring drumming from her, but it shows you guys that, again, the most important thing you can do is learn how to screw up together. Anyway, the third and final example is from a prehistoric paradigm performance, back with the original lineup of the band. And I say that like it was eons ago, but it was actually only just exactly a year ago, back in November 2021. So we cranked up the intro to our cover of the infamous Paralyzer by Finger Eleven, which has actually, because we've played it so much, become synonymous with my band locally. Um, just happens to be one of the songs that I very much fixated on when I was much, much younger, and we decided to cover it. And as we were doing it, for some reason or other, Someone went out of time, and then we all went out of time. But that's the important part. We all went out of time together, and thus all recovered together. So have a little look, and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Now, I wager that the reason this happened is because it happened to be our local venue, or at least one of the venues in our area, which made things difficult for us because the pressure was on. It was people we knew, but didn't know, and therefore we didn't want to make a bad impression. And it was the last song we played, so the nerves were subsiding, and I think that lull caused us to all go out of time. But we all went out of time together and all recovered together and that's what's important. This all goes to show that screwing up together is the key to a good performance. I mean, sure, the best thing you can do is mitigate the risk of screwing up in the first place, but the magic of a live performance is that mistakes are a frequent occurrence, so being prepared for them is a far better cure than all the work that goes into prevention. Because if you don't know how to screw up together, you're all gonna screw up separately. Someone's gonna screw up, no one's gonna know what's going on, and then it will be obvious to the audience. But if you all screw up together and you will recover together, it will be less obvious. It will just look like artistic license. It will look like you've taken liberty with the song that you're covering, or more importantly, if it's an original composition, people are less likely to know it. This applies much more to people that cover songs because, and a lot of us start out that way, because people already know them. If you're doing Smells Like Teen Spirit, you have got an extreme chance that if you screw up, people are gonna notice. If you're doing a more obscure cover, the chance goes down, and if you're doing something of your own, it's very unlikely that anybody's gonna know. And if you're at the stage where everybody knows your music, then you're probably untouchable enough that if you screw up, no one's gonna care anyway. So like I say, learn how to screw up together as a band, please, I implore you. Because in my limited experience, it is probably one of the most important skills you could possibly have on your roster. A lot of this video is gonna be down to you guys. Go back, have a watch, and you'll see what I mean. Take a look at our performance and learn from our mistakes. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next Singer Breakdown slash Metalhead Guide, Metalhead Reacts, or another anthology piece like this one.